Hello family, this is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. If I had to title this message, I would call it, Don't Handicap the Devil. Don't give the devil a handicap. I have several people in my life right now that are battling cancer. I have several people in my life that are battling other ailments as well. And it's, it's amazing, once they got the diagnosis, the first thing they did is they went to the internet to find out the symptoms, find out what other people had experienced, to find out about whatever affliction that they were diagnosed with. And once they did all their research, they went to God and they said, okay, God, I want to believe you from a healing according to scriptures. And they gave scripture verses and all. And what I saw in almost every instance is that they filled themselves up with unbelief first and then they went to God and tried to use their faith, tried to muster up their faith, tried to combat everything that they fill their mind up with prior to going to Scripture. And I want to say, I want to, I want to inspire you not to do that. God's Word is God's Word. God's Word is truth. God's Word will always overcome. It's that it, it makes no difference the research that you do. It's a mute point. If God is healing you, if you're expecting God, if you're believing God for your healing, it makes no difference what the internet says. It makes no difference what other people have experienced. Don't fill your head and your heart with unbelief first and then go and use faith to try to counteract the unbelief that you filled yourself up with. You're, you're fighting an uphill battle. You're handicapping the devil. You're letting him get out in front of you in this race. And a lot of these races are, are life and death races. You don't want to give him uh, a break. You don't want to give him an advantage over you. You don't want to give him a head start on you. Now God and his word is fully able to overcome but why, why, why put yourself behind the ball? Why, why put yourself behind the game? It, it, it's not a good thing. So if that's what you're doing, if you've been diagnosed with something detrimental, if you're uh, experiencing something that is contrary to God's word, no research is required. The only research that is should be on your horizon is researching what the Word of God has to say about your situation and overcoming it in the name of Jesus. So I'd like to uh, leave you with that today and if you haven't done so already I invite you to download our free ebook. It's an ebook of encouragement that I wrote some years ago. It's a free download and it's in the description box below. And I wrote it just as an encouragement, as an inspiration. There are many people going through things right now, and I wrote it to attempt to support those who may be going through things. As I said, it's a free download, and it's in the description box below. So with that, I'll leave you, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.